Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the Volamart, or Volamart, e-bike kit. So, this is a 1500 watt kit. We have, obviously, the hub, and this hub is pretty nice. It's not waterproof by default, but you can waterproof it simply by adding silicone in here around this hole, or stop any water getting in the hub. So we do also have disc brake mounts right here, and this will allow you to do disc brakes. I'm using just uh, normal pad brakes. And that we have that ran up into the controller here. The controller is a 1,500 watt controller, what can do 250 watts, and uh, you can physically restrict it with two blue wires in here which you just plug together or restrict the motor to 250 watts for UK road use which even under testing will show that it can only draw 250 watts which is really what you want if you want to ride legally on the UK roads the pedal assist sensor is right here mounted with a spacer don't be fooled you're not going to take the old crank arm off without its special tool and a sledgehammer trust me so the sensor here is mounted and held on to the crankshaft with super glue. Once that's done, works fantastically and works pretty flawlessly with this setup in general. By default, the controller comes with flat terminal connections for the battery end, which is good and terrible all at the same time. If you have terminal ending battery T60 plugs, coming from your battery then you're great if you don't well it's a whole story entirely so I've had to solder onto the terminals with my t60 plug so I can use my battery from unit power unit pack power this is a 15 amp hour 48 volt 720 watt hour battery and it's more than enough for this kit so if we move on up, we have the bar covers, or handlebar grips or whatever you want to call them. And it comes with one for your off hand and one for your throttle hand. The throttle itself looks pretty nice, does what it does. Very nice. Comes with e-brakes, these brakes have sensors inside of them, which send a stop command to the internal display. And the sensor stopping the motor from spinning. The actual display is just black and white. It's bright enough to see even in the brightest of sunlight, so don't worry about that. By default, it's set to kilometers. You have to go into the settings by holding up and down on here and go into the right setting uh, to change it to miles per hour. The pedal assist is simply controlled by pressing either up. That's gonna be a really incredibly powerful power assist. I personally keep it on two. Now, the brakes overall, really nice feeling, display looks great, controllers are really nice, overall, when put together properly this kit looks really sleek. Now something about this hub motor is it does not have any markings on it indicating its actual wattage. So there is that. It comes with a 7 uh, gear cassette. Originally this bike was a 6 gear cassette but my dad managed to accidentally make my gear cassette fall apart. So we put the seven on and it just worked perfectly fine. We're going to use some spaces in between the frame to stop some rubbing. I'm using the rubber end caps because honestly, why not? These bolts are massive and I do recommend a torque arm for your frame because otherwise this motor will most definitely twist your bike frame. Take a look at the tire. It's your average mountain bike tire. Pretty nice actually. Comes with a really nice inner tube as well and it's good quality. It'll get you where you need to go. And allows you to keep your old bike back wheels in a tube as a spare in your bag for just in case you get a puncture. However, let's just be honest about this. You're going to need to bring some pretty specialist tools with you if you're going to change this because the nuts on this are gigantic compared to your normal nuts on most push bikes. They're huge. The only thing I dislike about this kit is two things. One, the controller bag. The controller bags 
elastic, well not elastic, yeah, fabric uh, velcro straps because aren't long enough to reach around a 20 style bike frame. This is Apollo slant by the way if you're wondering and it's equipped with Shimano gears. So yeah, that's just not fit enough to fit around there comfortably so I had to take that down and uh, the terminal connections being terminals and just not basic T60 and also being incredibly short like really short that was super short they could at least solder on a T60 connector or cycle along the lines however my unit pack power came with a T60 male to female plug so I just used that to solder in place overall the kit installs relatively easily if anything it was a breeze the worst part was literally just getting the cassette on and off which you will need a tool for and this you will need a tool to remove this <sighs> overall I'd say 4.5 stars if I could give it that rating is it's great quality for the price you're paying gives you everything you possibly want for a starter kit and generally it's just really nice only thing, like I said, they could do better is the bag and adding proper terminal connections for your battery. Other than that, stellar. I'll have some video showing how fast it goes off-road, of course, and showing off its functions. <laughs>